What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, Happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to How To 101. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about something which is really, really, really important. How to stop or reduce self-harming. In today's episode, I wanna to talk to you guys about what self-harming is, how people have described ways in which they self-harm, um, but also give you tips on how to stop and even reduce self-harm. So let's get to it. So what is self-harm? So self-harm is when someone hurts themselves in order to deal with trauma, emotional pain, or an overwhelming situation that they cannot control. So people have also described self-harming as a way to express themselves, Often when people cannot express themselves vocally, they find other ways. Changing emotional pain into physical pain, so not being able to deal with what's going on for them emotionally, they want to channel that in a different way and they do it through physical pain. Reducing overwhelming emotions and feelings. Escaping trauma, PTSD, self-punishment, People don't feel self-worthy, you no know, self-love, self-care. They punish themselves. So this is another way in which people um, express themselves. And also to stop feeling numb and disconnected or disassociated. I see this come up a couple of times where people uh, feel dissociated. They don't feel like they're in their body. They feel like they're having this out-of-body experience. And for some people, this can be really, really overwhelming. Um, this feeling of you know not being connected to, to this physical form. It's something that can be really, really scary. And, and some people self-harm when they don't understand how to deal with this or what to do. So ways which people self-harm is through cutting. Uh, people overeat or undereat. Exercising excessively biting themselves, picking or scratching is another one which is very common, hitting themselves or hitting a wall or an object, so releasing that frustration, fear, anger, whatever it may be for them, misusing alcohol or drugs, so a form of numbness, so numbing their pain, the emotional pain or not being able to kind of express themselves, alcohol and drugs is a way to, to do that but it is self-harming and having uh, unprotected and unsafe sex. But I wanna to talk to you guys about ways in which you can stop and even reduce self-harming. This is so key and it's so important because I've self-harmed with, you know, with food, with sex, with alcohol, with drugs, and I was running away from my traumas, my pain, my experiences, the stress, anxiety, the disassociation, not understanding how to, what was going on for me, but also how to voice that, to voice that in a safe way, to voice that in a safe environment, um, to voice it to people who I could trust and who I knew would help me. Um, and this is really important. It's really important for us to understand ways in which we can do something different. Because there is, there is always something different that we can do. So try talking about your feelings. I know that this is hard for, for, for many, trying to sort of express what's going on for you. Um, especially when the mind is racing at a thousand miles an hour, there are so many things going on, your emotions are all over the place. Trying to talk to someone is the last thing you want to do. But if you can find a place of calm and stillness or even going for a walk, that's something that always helped, was just getting away from the four walls and just going for a walk in fresh air just allowing myself to then stop thinking and just speaking. Speaking honestly, speaking vulnerably, and just speaking openly. Just allowing these things to, to release what's going on for you. It's so important because there is no 
stupid questions. There is no stupid thinking. There is no, this is not important enough. It is important. If you are struggling, if you are self-harming, if you're causing yourself more pain, whether it's emotional or physical, you have to express that in another way. This is a healthier way for you to release what's currently going on for you. And it doesn't matter how much you say. You can say a lot, you can say a little, but as long as you are saying something, as long as you are allowing yourself to release what's going on for you so that you don't have to do it to yourself physically, then this is, is really worth trying. Try and express your emotions in a safe way, which I touched on. So whether you're talking to your parents, you know, friends that you trust, teachers, work colleagues, or even if you see a professional, you know, you can go and see a therapist, a coach, it doesn't matter. Somebody that you know, that you have a connection with and they make you feel safe, then this is a really important way in order for you to also express yourself in a much safer and healthier way. Try introducing something new by journaling, blogging, videos, audio, it doesn't matter what it is, you know, just a, a way or a healthier form in order for you to release what's going on inside. Because when we keep things internally, our bodies can't cope with it. You know, this energy that's running around our bodies needs to be released. It has to be released somehow. And the way that, you know, that you've been doing or this friend or person who you are you know, probably watching this for, this is a, a healthier way in order for you to release. And there are so many different things that you can do. Often or not, from personal experience and professional experience, one of the things that I found that we all have in common is that actually we're very creative. We're very creative, we're actually very expressive too. It's just that we are blocked in a way of expressing ourselves. And this is a personal way, you don't have to share this with anybody, but it's a personal way that you can journal, you can blog, you can video, you can audio, in order for you to just release, just release. You can record this on your phone, and just record something to just express what's going on for you, allow that release to happen, and once it's happened, delete it. You don't have to listen back to it, because what's happening there is you are letting go. You are letting go. And by letting go of what's currently going on for you, you are creating more space mentally, physically and spiritually for you to continue to grow, for you to continue to heal. So it's really, really important for you to find new ways in order for you to have these releases. Try breathing exercises. Breathing exercises are phenomenal ways to help you to calm yourself down, to bring you into the present moment. So if you're experiencing stress, depression, anxiety, or you're overwhelmed about a current situation, or you are going through disassociation, you don't know what to do. Breathe. Just breathe. Calm yourself down. Relax your body listen to your breath and have a couple of affirmations that can help you to just bring yourself into this, this state of calmness and state of release. Using the breath will help you to release these emotions, even if you can't do it verbally, by allowing the breath, the oxygen to work through your body, it doesn't matter how long you do this for, by allowing yourself to breathe through the experience, what you are also doing as you're breathing in, you're breathing in beautiful energy. And as you're breathing out, you are releasing. So you are releasing energy, you are releasing toxins. And have those affirmations ready. Two, three affirmations that will help you. I'm safe, I'm calm, I'm in control. You can write your own affirmations, you can do this for yourself to help you get into this place of calmness and stillness and also say to yourself as well, I'm safe, I'm happy, I'm worthy, and I feel unconditional love for myself. So these
these little things, just by saying them to yourself and feeling that positive energy rush through you as you breathe, this will really, really help you just in the moment for you to be able to, to go and get some help or to go and speak to somebody, to do your journaling, your blogging, your vlogging or your audio. So you can then calmly and in the present moment fully express yourself with currently what's going on. This is going to be a much safer and actually a much healthier way in order for you to express yourself. And finally, go and speak to a professional. It is so important that you go and speak to someone. I have help all the time. I work in this professional industry, working with mental health and addiction and trauma. So I have to release these energies all the time. So I do breath work, I do meditation, I work with a therapist, and I'm now gonna be working with, with a coach. And the reason I do these things, even though I work in this industry, even though I help people to overcome these things, it is important for me to also release what's going on as well. We all go through our emotions, we experience things which are out of our control. So we have to have an external individual or individuals to help us just to help us to sound check things just to help us to release what's going on just sometimes just to voice you know something that could be a concern something that could be you know just a form of a release or actually asking for help asking for help is a huge thing is a huge thing you are not alone in this never ever ever think or believe that you are on your own you are not on your own with this. The energy, what's going on for you, it's it's retracting you from everything else. So it starts to create this, this, this self-imagery, this self-belief that nobody cares, nobody will believe you, nobody will understand you, but actually we all do. We all have emotions, we all experience these emotions, and we can help to channel, to allow you to really but also to make sense, to make sense of what's going on, to bring things into perspective, but most importantly, to help you find tools and techniques that are going to personally help you to get through the day, the moment, the experience, you know, to help you to heal through this. And you can go and live a beautiful life, and you can live your life every single day exactly as you are meant to. And you are meant to live your life with joy, unconditional love, happiness, fulfillment, compassion, kindness towards yourself because you are worth it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please share this video with others. Let's make this information known so that we can help as many people as we possibly can. Leave your comments, hit that like button if you've liked today's video. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications as I do these videos every single week. If there is anything you want me to talk about, any specific topic related to mental health or addiction, please let me know. I have other videos which I'm going to be releasing very soon and I hope they help you as well. I do this with unconditional love and support. If you need anything, reach out. I will leave the link to our website and contact details so you can reach out to me anytime. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world and as always. Be great, be fantastic, and be absolutely phenomenal today. It is everything, 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 everything that you are. You are an incredible human being. I'll speak to you again very soon.